Hello everyone, my name is Nate, and today I'm going to be talking about a potential game that may or may not come out called The Legend of Zelda 35. As many of you know, we are currently in The Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary, and last year when Nintendo celebrated Mario's 35th anniversary, they released a game for us called Super Mario Bros. 35, which was a battle royale version of the original Super Mario Bros. And that got a lot of fans speculating that for Zelda's 35th anniversary, we might get a similar game called The Legend of Zelda 35, which would be a battle royale game based off of the original Legend of Zelda. And with the recent releases of Pac-Man 99 and the death of Super Mario Bros. 35, it got me thinking and speculating about what a potential Legend of Zelda 35 could look and play like. So today I want to present to you guys a couple of the ideas I've had for The Legend of Zelda 35. My first idea for The Legend of Zelda 35 would be to have players do a dungeon run. In this version of the game, players would randomly be dropped into one of the dungeons from the original Legend of Zelda. They would then have to make their way through the dungeon and get to the end as quickly as possible, and once they've gotten to the end, they would then go to another randomly selected dungeon from the original game. Now in order to keep players moving forward and to add in a little bit of competition into the original game, there would be a countdown timer similar to the one in Super Mario Bros. 35. As players are defeating other enemies, clearing rooms, and completing dungeons, they would get time added onto that timer so that they could keep playing through the game and keep going to the next dungeon until that timer ran out and then the game would be over for them. Now, similar to Super Mario Bros. 35, as you're defeating enemies, these would be sent over to other opponents' screens, hindering them from moving forward, but also giving them an opportunity to gain back some time. Now, you would be able to target players based off of the number of rupees they have, if they have the least amount of time, if they have the most KOs, or you could just target people randomly. Now, another aspect of this game that would be very similar to Super Mario Bros. 35 would to be to have a rupee roulette wheel. Once players had gathered 20 rupees from the game, they would be able to spin this wheel and it would maybe say give them a fairy or special armor powering up their defense or a special sword powering up their attack. And that would be random and very similar to Super Mario Bros. 35. Now, the last aspect that I think I would want added into this game would actually be kind of similar to the warp pipes in Super Mario Bros. Many players are probably not familiar with the dungeons from the original Legend of Zelda, and if a player is randomly dropped into one of the latter dungeons, things could be somewhat difficult for them. Now, in order to overcome this, at the beginning of each dungeon, there would be a special room that would have passageways to the other dungeons. These passages would be random to the other dungeons, but it would give inexperienced players an opportunity to go back to, say, the first dungeon, where things might be a little bit easier to navigate. Now, one last point I would also like to point out is that some of the dungeons in the original Legend of Zelda require items. Now, in order to simply overcome this, at say the beginning of each of these dungeons, players would be given the item they needed to progress through that dungeon, or maybe players are given all the necessary items at the beginning of the game so they don't have to worry about collecting or finding those. Now, this first idea for The Legend of Zelda 35 is very similar to Super Mario Bros. 35. However, I think that it's a concept that people are very familiar with, so people would be able to ease into this game fairly quickly. Now, the next idea I have for The Legend of Zelda 35 would be somewhat similar to the first idea. However, players are now dropped into randomly generated dungeons. This idea actually stems from the chamber dungeons that were featured in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Players would begin this version of the game by being randomly dropped into one of the segments from the dungeons or a section of the overworld. As players move to the other available areas, they would be randomly generated as well. And this is where things would be somewhat similar to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening's chamber dungeons. As you move to these areas and clear them, however, you get the opportunity to send the harder areas to your opponents, thus making their dungeons harder and more complex to complete. Now slightly different from the first idea that I have is that there wouldn't be a countdown timer. Instead, players would be tasked with completing a certain number of segments of the dungeon as quickly as possible and be the first ones to do that. And the first, say, 80 players to complete the first five segments would get to then move on to the next round, similar to, say, Fall Guys. This version of the game would also include that roulette wheel from the first game, and players would be able to randomly get a power-up when they get 20 rupees. 
To me at least, this version of the game sounds super fun because as players are defeating and completing more difficult sections of the dungeon, that then gets sent to other players and it gets more and more difficult as the game goes on. And as players are slowly getting knocked out because they have to complete a certain number of segments to stay within the game, things would get more and more and more hectic. This type of idea might never happen, but it's really fun to speculate about. The third idea that I have for a Legend of Zelda 35 game somewhat breaks the conventions and the mold of the Super Mario Bros. 35, Tetris 99, and Pac-Man 99 styles of games, and instead goes for a more traditional battle royale type game similar to say Fortnite. In this version of the game, players are randomly dropped throughout the original Hyrule map. They are then tasked with gathering items, rupees, and weapons that are spread throughout the map and then battling other players as they find them. Now, similar to, say, Fortnite, there would be a circle that would be closing and players would have to go to that circle. However, in this case, because the game is segmented into squares or rectangles, players would then have to go to the shrinking rectangle that they see on their map. Now, in this version of the game, I don't think it has to be confined to just playing as Link. I think you could play as other characters, say as Zelda or Ganondorf or maybe even one of the four champions from Breath of the Wild. I think that would add up some personality to the game and make it a lot more interesting and it'd be kind of cool to see a lot of these characters in an 8-bit form. Now, also in this game, similar to the first two ideas that I had, is there would be a rupee roulette wheel. As you're gathering rupees, you would get the chance to get a random item. However, this would probably be expanded to more of the actual items from the Legend of Zelda game rather than just the power-up ones. So you could get a fairy or a powered-up sword, but you could also get the boomerang or a bow or extra arrows or magical arrows even. And so it would switch things up a little bit. Overall, it would be so much fun if we got to have a game like this and duke it out with all the other Legend of Zelda characters to try to be the last one standing. Now, the last and final idea I want to present is a little bit of a long shot, but I think it would be so, so cool if it happened. And that is a Breath of the Wild style battle royale game. In this game, players would randomly start on one of the divine beasts up in the sky and then get to jump off of them whenever they choose to do so. They would then use their sailcloth and sail down to wherever they wanted to go on the map of Hyrule. Now, the map of Hyrule is huge and it's probably a little bit too big for a battle royale game. So maybe in this game, you randomly pick a segment that you wanna battle it out with your friends in and then you're only confined to that segment of Hyrule. And that would be a way to get around, say, the huge map in that game. But as you're in that little segment, you would go around gathering items and materials, crafting weapons and building them up and then duking it out with the other players to see who is the last one standing. I think this would honestly be such a cool idea to have. It's probably never going to happen, but it's, it's just so fun to speculate about these types of things. Now, The Legend of Zelda 35 may or may not happen, and in all honesty, Nintendo hasn't given us any hints about it, and so far they haven't really done a lot for The Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary, which is kind of sad to me because it's one of my favorite franchises out there. It's one of the first video games that I ever started playing when I was a kid, and I want to celebrate this milestone for The Legend of Zelda in my own way, so I'm going to be producing more videos about The Legend of Zelda throughout the year, whether that be reviews or retrospectives of past games or guides or just discussions like this going forward into the future. I hope you guys will tune into those videos and like and subscribe for more content from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!